Now more Good Day Dakota on KX News. It's 633. Welcome back. Calendar fall will happen in exactly four weeks, but in just one week's time, we hit September 1st, which is meteorological fall. That's right. And no matter which date you use to ring in the new season, the weather is no doubt changing. New this morning, meteorologist Amber Wheeler has a fall weather preview that's in this week's WeatherWise. Well, Josh and Alicia, you know, we call it meteorological fall just for data purposes. It's just easier to gather data using whole months rather than starting on a certain day that shifts based on the year. So with that said, here's the latest outlook from the Climate Prediction Center of the next three months. So this is going to be September, October, November. So surprise, surprise, the next three months are looking to be warmer than normal, especially for the southern half of the state and off towards the east. The northern part of the state not giving as much of a signal. Keep in mind that this three month outlook, one of these months could be well below normal, while the other two could be well above normal and the result combined would be a warmer than normal month. How about the bigger talker this year? That's the moisture. We're also favored to see below normal moisture. Also something not new to our region, which then leads into the question of how long could we stay in this drought? Well, as far as the outlook for that, with 100% of the state in some form of a drought, it'll take more than just one or two good rains to pull us out. We didn't get here overnight and it won't really happen and when we don't get out of it overnight. In fact, you can see most of the country in the West under a drought as well. After a year and a half of either abnormally dry or drought conditions, it may come as no surprise to you that the drought will likely persist through the fall. The rain signals, well, they're just not as strong for this next season. We're also heading out of our rainy season and into our normally drier months. But the winter outlook, while still far away, isn't showing the same drier signals, which is a bit of good news for those of us who rely heavily on Mother Nature's moisture, which if you're watching this, you probably are, are one of those folks. Now this fall, a global pattern could also set up for a cooler than normal winter. That's the La Nina pattern. That's for the fall. We have about a 55% chance of that happening with an even greater chance of that happening in the winter. Now that doesn't mean any Anything for rain or snow, but it does mean that we could have a colder than normal winter. A La Nina doesn't always guarantee a colder than normal winter. That's uh, pretty evident based on what we saw last winter. We were under a La Nina winter. We were above normal. Uh, Josh and Alicia, based on my calculations, when we see a La Nina pattern here in North Dakota, it doesn't mean much for us in the fall but we have about a roughly 70% chance of a colder than normal mm. winter. So last winter, of course, falling in that sort of 30% right. chance. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and really, that's why the odds are in the favor of having mm -hmm. a colder than normal uh, winter under La Nina. Colder air outbreaks right. are much more likely under that pattern. Yeah, thinking about the, the, the chances of having two warmer than usual normal winter is probably pretty slim. Because <laughs> yeah, last I winter, mean, crazy, we had that month. Crazier things have happened, though. True. So, so we'll have to see. And again, I'm not giving a winter outlook here. Yeah, this is definitely a, a fall outlook, but yeah. it is something Three I want to tell you that we are looking at that in the fall. Yeah. The La Nina pattern. We're watching that. It could set us up for mm -hmm. the winter. You got to watch months down the road here. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Yeah. Thank you very much, Amber. There's still plenty of news and weather ahead on Good Day Dakota.